am going to uh, sh start with you guys going over what are some things today that's going to make you money and what are some things today that will cost you money, right, guys? Because, guys, anything in life that you say yes to, you're telling no to something else, right? Um, so you want to do pr um, production leading activities, right, guys? Not busy work, but you want to do things that lead, lead to production, right? So, so guys, so, so you guys don't always want to go, uh, go over mindset, right, and go over, you know, skill set. So the first thing I want to go over, guys, in this business in this business or life, rather, guys, it's very, very, very easy, right? I think I think it's easy because just follow what the person above you is doing. Follow what the person that has a lifestyle at you. And guys, you understand you can follow someone that you don't agree with everything they do. But if you agree about 80% of what they do and how they act and how they move, guys, you should follow them, right, guys? Now, if someone's a liar, cheater, this, that, and you can prove it, because I think a lot of times in life, guys, people, we tend to make someone what they're not. Right, guys? And that's called jealousy. That's called envy. Right, guys? You only gossip or jealous or envy someone that you want to be like. The reason why people talk shit about LeBron James and he's this and he's that and he's this and he's that, maybe because he's the greatest. And I know some of you guys are Jordan fans, but guys, let's, numbers don't lie is what is. Right, guys? He's the greatest, right? Even his personal life. Never got in trouble, built the same girl since 10th grade, never, you know, never had anything with women. And the, it, the guy's 6'8". The only flaw is his hair don't grow. That's the only flaw. 6'8", worth a billion dollars, like, there's nothing else. You guys follow me? But there's still people that will find a reason to not like them. Guys, in business, not liking your upline that's producing, leading, grinding, he or she is only hurting you. I've never seen someone in Primerica, one that has a vendetta with their upline and they win. Never. I've never, ever, ever, never, ever seen it. It, it don't make any sense. Because your upline wants you to do well. Because you do well, we do well. Now, if you do well, your family does well. So everybody wins, right, guys? So I want to go over some mindset, right, guys? That also, too, guys, you know, the reason why you want to listen to your upline in Primerica, right, Mercedes? Because let's say for my example, right, uh, next month in May, March, May is going to be my 11th, May 15th of my 11th year in Primerica, right? 11 year in Primerica, right? So one, I made 11 years of mistakes for you. Right. I think Edward, uh, Coach Edward, been in here, I think eight years, nine years. He made eight or nine years of mistakes for you. Even Ryan, he, although he's killing it, he made 16 months of mistakes for you. And guys, you might say, well, I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to mess up. Right, guys? Honestly, guys, the people who are most successful are the people, David, who are willing to fail faster. See, in business, right, guys, in business, the, the faster you fail, the faster you make mistakes, the faster you can uh, uh, um, come in and get leadership, the faster you'll be successful. Because we're going to say, hey, don't do that. Hey, this is the right time of date. Hey, this is, hey, hey, get this license. Hey, recruit 10 people. Hey, get licenses. Like, even for example, right, um, in this business, you using your upline is a cheat code. Not using your upline only cheats you. Using your upline is a cheat code. Not using your upline only cheats you. You guys follow me? So it really actually hurts yourself for you to not be coachable to your upline because I still have never found someone in Premier Carl that doesn't follow their upline who's winning, who shows up, who's consistent, who recruits personal, who does personal numbers, who go to events, and that person go do the opposite and they win. Think about this, Juan, right? Juan, uh, Ilya, right, and JJ, right? Is there someone in Primerica that's negative, nasty, who don't show up, who don't come on training, who don't come on a Zoom, that you want their business? Juan? No, no one. It makes no, it makes absolutely no sense, right, guys? Plugging into meetings, having your camera on, even on this, this call. Now, if you're at work, that's different. But being on this call and like you're somebody that's like cooking or laying in the bed and you have someone that's making a quarter million dollars a year talking to you about mindset, to me, I think that makes no sense. Now, if you're at work, that's different. But anything else, have your camera on, right? So um, I posted something on my Instagram uh, earlier, right? And I want to share for you guys who don't follow me on social media, right, guys? When I talked about the biggest cheat code in life is having a mentor. Having a mentor is the biggest cheat code you can have. They, they made all the mistakes for you so you don't have to borrow their thinking and you'll get to the top faster, right? So guys, even this business, right, even this morning, right, in our RVP meeting, Coach Edward went over something that I didn't really understand. And Carl, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really agree with it. But I said, you know what? Let me ask him, hey, what exactly do you mean by that? Can you give me some more ex explanations so I can understand? See, a loser will, oh, my God, he said this. I don't agree with that, da, 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 and go get to your own conclusion and be broke. Guys, there's no such thing as a, as a dumb answer. Guys, write this down, guys. If you 
If you don't, if you ask a question, you're dumb for a second. If you don't ask a question, you're dumb for a lifetime. So if you don't ask a question, right, DeMarco, right? Now you're you're foolish or lost for your lifetime. If you ask a question, someone can give you a, a big perspective. But let me tell you how you get to the next level instantly. Understand that Edward has my best interest and he makes more than me in Primerica. Because guys, let's be honest. Let's, let, let's cut all the fluff out. In business, the scoreboard is your income. That's it. How much money are you making? In business, like a number one businessman in the world, whether you like him or not, is Elon Musk, period. Why? Because he's the wealthiest guy in the world. That's it. Whether you like him or not, that's it. It goes back and forth with Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, but it's been Elon Musk for about almost a year now. Is whatever you like it or not. Do you guys follow me? Because in business, that's a scoreboard. In Primerica, is, is, is the, the scoreboard is, is the income, right? And also, too, how you make your income. How you make the income. So the income coming passive, right? So everyone got me at 43000 in cash for the month, David. There's no reason not to listen to them. I'm at 19000 He has forty three. There's no reason not to listen to them. You see how, you see how easy it sounds, DeMarco, when I go over it? It's so easy. Who here makes the most money? I'm listening to them. That's it. You guys follow me? Trying to do it your own way. I think people get so caught up a lot of times trying to do things their own way and follow their own systems and it's not working. And now we're in April. You still got this orientation that's not working. You still got this way of treating people that's not working. You still got this thinking that's not working and we're in April. You guys follow me? So now you can make that small little um, shift and change, right? Um, I want to talk about, guys, uh, really quick, guys, this weekend. This weekend, we have our big event coming up, right? So this weekend is ECBS. And if you're brand new to our business, right, if you're brand new to our business, say, what is ECBS? Right? What is this big event that's coming up? Guys, every quarter, right, every three months, we have a big event coming up uh, that we have about 2,000 people that attend this event, right, guys? I believe this is going to be the biggest event in Primerica shortly. All right, guys, I know this event right here is going to be the biggest one because we got so many milestones, right? Our upline about to cross 500,000 this week. You know, we're committed to getting Edward and Gabby over 500,000 between now and Friday so they can walk into ECBS, say I'm making a half million dollars a year. That's our focus, right? I'm focused on that. Our team's focused on that, right? Um, also, too, you know, we had, you know, Ryan, Ryan's killing it, right? Lewis and Ali crossed 200,000 uh, a, a few weeks ago, right, guys? And also, you know, Andy crossed a million dollars in six years. So it's going to be a big event. A lot of celebration, a lot of recognition, a lot of promotions, right? Why wouldn't you want to have your people there? Guys, bring, see, if you want to grow your business the fastest, bring 10 people to this weekend's event. You bring 10 people, five or 10 people to this weekend's event, guys, your next 30 days, nine days will be a joke because they came and see the vision. You don't want people, George, to believe Primerica stops at you. You don't want people to believe, although the Tampa office is beautiful, you don't want people to only believe, oh my God, the Tampa office, I thought you guys are Primerica. No, it's bigger than this. We were so big in this in this region, we got to rent out a whole church, right? They see a life's recognition. They see different walks of life, right? Different walks of life um, uh, for getting to the next level. You guys follow me? Right? So I want you guys to understand that, right? I want you guys to understand that, guys. You want to make sure you get as much people as possible to this event, right? And I want to talk about, guys, this weekend's event etiquette. Guys, when you go to the event, guys, don't hang out in the hallway. Don't hang out in the bathroom. Don't. This is not a, a time where you kumbaya, right, Juan? This is time where you gotta, we go to learn and grow, right? This is time where you learn and grow. Hang in the bathroom, hang in the hallways. That's where losers hang out, right? Guys, sit in the front, right? When people um, are, are coming on stage, you get up and clap. Because one day when you get on the stage, you're going to want someone to clap. I don't know why I got to mention this one, David, but I have to. Have proper hygiene, <laughs> guys. I don't want to know that you had Chipotle at lunch. I don't need to know that. All right, guys? You just follow me? Um, be, be a person that, you, that you're, 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 you're taking notes. Again, guys, I, I can't stress enough that when a crowd... Guys, one time I went to a hockey game, I had no idea what the hell was going on, but I said, you know what? When they cheer, I'm going to cheer. When they sit now, I'm going to sit now. That's it. <laughs> because I had no idea what was going on. But, Marco, you go and someone's standing up and they're cheering. Guys, you cheer for them. Clap for them. They go to the stage. Go to the stage and clap. Don't be like, oh, don't. This is what losers do. Oh, I'm not going to go to the stage because I ain't getting no recognition. Or that's not my people, so I'm going to sit down. I'm going to be my phone. Let me update my status. That's what losers do. Also, too, guys, you guys who champions say, you know what? I'm going to go to the stage and prepare for this, right, to be excited for someone because you want people to be excited for you. You follow me? 
So I'm um, also too, guys, when you're posting on social media, we're never encouraging you to hide Primerica because we, we all love Primerica. However, Primerica is a, a great business. It is that some, unfortunately, some bad people done the business. So when you're posting and marketing yourself with the crowd and recognition, don't be like Primerica all over the place. You guys follow me? Because you want people to have curiosity. People are watching you on your social media. There is people that, that, that you've been doing this for a year, Juan, that just now coming into the business because they say, oh, Juan, I just want to see that you want to stick with it. And there's some people who are, are waiting for, unfortunately, you shouldn't do that, right? You should jump in the business when people jump into it because you don't want to base someone else's success on your success, right? Let me give you guys an overcoming objection, right? Uh, Juan, Ilya, and um, Jonathan. If someone, when someone, you ever heard someone say, um, you ever had someone say, well, I'm going to let my friend do it. I'm going to come do it after. You ever had someone say that? Guys, put a one in chat. You ever had someone say, hey, I'm going to let them go first and I'll do it after? You ever had someone say that before? Right. This is how you overcome it. Hey, 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 Carl, does it make sense to base your success on someone else's success? No, not at all. Right. Wouldn't it make sense for you to come into the business together and you guys go be successful together? Yeah, I guess when you put it that way, for sure. Perfect. Guys, how many times have you had someone right say, hey, I don't like this restaurant and you go to a restaurant, you love it. Right. Or or I don't like how this car drive and you go rent a car and you love it. You end up buying the car. Right, guys. So you don't want to base someone else's success on your success. You guys follow me? Also, two guys get to the event early. Stay at the event late. Winners show up 15, 20, 15, 30 minutes before you hold the seats. You stay a little bit after. Right, guys. Right. If you're if you're the first time coming to Tampa, hey, our Tampa office used to be an hour on. Uh, uh, can someone tell me how far the Tampa office is from the church in Tampa? How far is it? 15 minutes? I don't know. I don't know how far it is. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, right? So if you're brand new to Tampa, uh, not Tampa, but brand new to our team or you're coming from a different state, guys, before you go home, right? Before you go home, right? Guys, come to the Tampa office. See our office. Be in their environment. Don't be a person. You you go you don't want to come. You're a secret, right? After the event, we take a team picture. Be a part of the team picture, guys. You want to be a part of things. Why? Because the the the, the seeds that you sow today, you're going to harvest tomorrow. And guys, what happens is, guys, some people can sow bad seeds and don't even know it. So I'm telling you right now that you don't sow bad seeds. We got a team shirt, guys. Buy the team shirt. We don't need you to buy team shirts for to put lights on our office, but buy a team shirt so you can be a part of a team. So when I say these things to Marco, David, right, Mercedes, don't it sound so like simple? Like, yeah, but it'll be a part of the thing. But unfortunately, people don't do those kind of things. You guys follow me? Um, today, right? So let's talk about today, right? Let's let's talk about. I, I like to go over. Um, this is a PowerPoint that I do, you know, pretty much every month. Month and activity, right? Month and activity. Um, I'll say money makers versus time wasters, right, guys? And some of you guys who are brand new, this still applies to you. And some of you guys, right? Like, for example, right? Today, the first thing I'll say to this, guys, today prospecting is not the smartest thing for you to do. Going out there and getting 10 names and numbers, that's not the smartest thing I recommend you for, for you to do. That's not the wise thing today. You should always prospect, but today is about, hey, who can we press submit on? Who can we recruit today? Who can we do a policy on today? Who can we, that's that's what today is about, right? So uh, money makers, guys, number one, guys, a money maker, guys, is your phone reminders, right? If you guys don't know, guys, your, our phones are super smart. That's what they call them, smart, smartphones, right? Your phone, if, if someone say, hey, Dave, like, like, for example, two people this morning text me and said, I want life insurance. Even me, although it's life insurance, DeMarco, right? I attempted to do it right then and there, Tammy, but I know that, that they're at work. They say, hey, I say, what time can I call you? One said 12, one said one. I said, oh, one said 11, third one, one said one. I set in a, a reminder, David. Hey, Siri, can you remind me to call John today at 12? Because you're going to forget. Some of y'all have children. Some of y'all are husbands, wives, parents. Your job is hectic. You're not going to remember. You guys follow me? Teammates. Guys, find out what teammates of yours, right, um, are right there close to the promotion. Guys, today is talking to your teammate. Hey, Juan, how can I make you a thousand bucks today? Tell me, how can I get you to pay a thousand bucks today? Right? How can we get this done today? Right? Strategic policy deliveries, right? And the QBI people don't kill me. But today, delivering policy, God, that's a that's 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 busy work. Unless it's someone's policy that you can deliver, because put them on a chat. There has someone who 
the wife did their policy today and the husband will do the policy later. Or I'll do it later. I'll do it and come back. Right, guys? So if you got someone who they live in a house, guys, get used to this. And when you sit down with someone and you're recruiting people or doing their, their policies, ask them, hey, who else in the household need life insurance? Do you mind asking anyone else in that house that need life insurance? Guys, because houses are so expensive right now and rent and mortgage is so expensive, a lot of people live together. Right? They live with their, like, there's, there's two uh, couples living in a house. There's brothers and sisters living in a house. Right, guys? It's just cheaper. Time, times are tough. Right, guys? Right? Ask them, hey, who else in your policy? Current, current clients. You guys should maintain, I recommend you maintain a list of clients who just love you. Now, I'm going to say this, right? Now, we're talking business, so don't get too emotional on what I'm about to say. In this business, guys, unfortunately, there's people, Tammy, that's going to work with you and work for you. Everybody on this call, all of all of you guys work with us because you're in business. Y'all want to get rich together. Y'all want to go RVP, make 100000 You guys follow me? The people who work for you, DeMarco, are the people who, you ever had, put a one in chat, you ever had that person that you know they can kill it, they can do so well in the business, but they just, they just won't do the business? But they'll get a policy, their whole house got a policy, mom, dad, sister, cousin, everybody got a policy, David, right? But they don't want to do the business. Those are the people that you, like, for example, I got a, a lady named Shirley, I got a lady named uh, um, Janice. I got a lady named Stephanie that every month or last of the month, I call and say, hey, who you got? Yesterday, I text them, um, a happy, thing, a happy Thanksgiving. That's so fat, right? <laughs> happy Easter, right? <laughs> you see, I'm on it, right, DeMarco? I'm, I'm waiting November, right? Thanksgiving, I ain't like, God, the best day is Christmas, Thanksgiving. That's it. Everything else is not playing. Easter is very important. I'm, I'm playing. Um, but I text them. I call them. Hey, how's it going? You know, how the family, how the kids, you know, I go to their birthday parties, their event, because guys, there are some clients who just want to see you win, but they don't want to do the business. You guys want me call them. So maintain that list. And you will, you would know who those people are to shine up over time. Okay. Um, no show appointments. Guys, people who don't show up, right? You ever prospect as someone on social media? Right. And their Instagram, they're a single mom of five kids. Right. They're a teacher. Right. And she does reschedule because life happened. Or this weekend, you got a bunch of reschedules because Easter and people flying in, flying out. Those are the people you reach out to. Hey, I know um, uh, yesterday was Easter. You couldn't get together. Hey, I'm free today. Uh, I'm available today uh, between, you know, uh, 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. When, when can we get together? You follow me, Frank? You follow me? So I'm giving you guys the money makers. I don't want you guys to think other things are. You got write this down, guys. You got to know what's the difference between being busy and productive. Now, how you decipher which one is busy and productive is what you're doing right now is going to lead to production. You follow me, Mercedes? Is what you're doing right now, if, if it's productive, is going to lead to production of recruits, licensing, premium, securities, whatever. If it doesn't lead to that, this is business talk, then it's, it's busy work. Um, last client, I'll tell you guys, you have some people that lapsed over 12 months ago, you can do their policy, right? Someone who reinstate, um, hey, I'll reinstate them today. I would do it. If I ask them, hey, you got reinstated. Hey, anybody else around you need life insurance? Guys, this month alone, I reinstated, well, more than three, but three policies that I reinstated, Tashana, right? I reinstated them. I say, hey, um, do you have any grown kids who need life insurance? You got a, a boyfriend now in life insurance, anything like that? Right? Um, policy master activity notices, right? Um, I'll, I'll go ahead later, right? Interview referrals. You know how a lot, guys, I, I, I did this in the beginning. You ever have, you ever got referrals from people and didn't call them? Or forgot to call them? Or nervous to call them? We all been there. No? Y'all wait, guys? Everybody wait? Y'all good? We good? Y'all hear me? All right, I guess I guess you guys are shaking your head. Okay, perfect. Right? You hear you. Uh, personal um contact lists. Some of you guys who are brand new, right? And you did your orientation with your trainer, right? And you haven't called, you haven't followed back up with your contact list, you've made an orientation. Or there's some people, Tammy, you skipped over because they already got the BMW. They already live in a decent house. So you think they're doing good. Because actually, guys, it's very easy to look like you're doing good. You just follow me? I promise you that onto your uncle that you're scared to call on your list that 
come to the baby showers or come to Easter and they always dress so nice and they got the BMW and they got this, got that. Guys, sometimes they can be in debt up to their eyeballs. Actually, most of the time they are. Because you got some decent credit or whatever the case might be, you just flipping leasing cars or whatever the case might be, or you know what's going on, guys. The goal is to be rich, not look rich. Right? All recruits contactless. You have zero activity, right? Call the old recruit contact list, right? Incomplete turbo ad. I think this right here, I don't want to say one of the most lucrative ways, but when you do a, um, you ever do a, a IBA for someone, you get to the end and they all of a sudden they can't find their card. My dog ate my homework. I left my card at home or I can't sign into my bank app. Bullshit. You get a phone. God, you get a new phone, guys. I My bank app is probably the first app I download. Facts. Like what? I got to see between me getting a new phone from AT&T and T-Mobile, I got to see if someone got me. Like, it is, like stop it. <laughs> That's probably stop, right? So go to your incomplete Turbo apps, incomplete IBAs, and just follow up with them. Hey, how's it going? We started an application on on, uh, on on March 5th. You know, wherever happy you, you, um, you couldn't do it, we'll follow up with you today to see if we can go ahead and get you started. Hey, we start a policy for you on March 10th. Hey, I'm, just, I'm giving you a call that you know, hey, you don't got to do a policy for 100 bucks. You can do it for 50 bucks. Get started now, and we can raise it up later. Can we go ahead and finish the app? Guys, very, and guys, you can toggle it to, I think, um, the last three years, or, or I think um, no, 120 days, and you can go through all of them, all the incomplete ones. Guys, the money's in the follow-up. There's a, a few people that didn't do an IBA because they generally didn't have the money. And they was too embarrassed to tell you. It's okay, guys. A lot of us have been broke before. It is what it is. There are some people, guys, who wanted life insurance, but just couldn't do it that day. And you follow up today. Guys, people will appreciate you following up with them. I didn't say nag them, Tammy, and call every single day, but they will appreciate the follow-up. Right? Beneficiary forms. Guys, call the beneficiaries. Guys, there's seven billion dollars of life insurance money that goes unclaimed every single year. That doesn't that, that goes unclaimed, right? People pass away, they can't contact the beneficiary. Beneficiary change number, change address. You can't contact them. So, Demarco, I'll do a policy for you. You put mom and cousin, right? I get your mom and cousin phone number, email if I can, right? I'm gonna get them a call. Hey, um, this is Layton. I did a life insurance policy for Demarco. Don't mention the coverage, guys. Don't mention the coverage. Don't matter. He puts down as emergency contact. He puts down as a as a beneficiary. Is there a way we can get online so I can uh, confirm some information with you? Hey, by the way, Demarco, I, I want a phone. Do you got outside life insurance? No. Hey, would you mind if I go over some three quotes? Or some free quotes? Perfect. May I say yeah? You guys got it. Are we all good so far? You good? Good. All right. So next thing is guys, time wasters. Waking up late. If you're in bed right now, you can hear my voice. Get up and get to the office. If you want to win. If you don't want to win, that's fine, right? But if you're not in the office, you got to get to the office, right? Getting to the office late. Guys, this should be a standard. You should get there every single morning late. Again, guys, you know, I always say, how is it working out so far for you? And guys, when people are tough on you guys, people are tough on you, right? People are tough on you guys because the person cares. Let's pause for a second, right, guys? To, to give you guys some mindset, because the goal is to get you to think a little bit different, right? Guys, we got to stop. You need to, and this is this is you. It's okay, because we all tell this way. You have to stop feeling like you're being attacked because someone wants better for you. They're actually showing you love. So if your coach is on your ass and get to the office, wake up, read this book, you can be better than that, you can do more, and because they're not attacking you. We want you to do better because I know you make it more money. Your life will be easier. Right? Being broke is very painful. You follow me? It's all love. Get out your feelings because you can't make any money there. I really hope you guys wrote that down. Don't think that someone is, because uh, when someone's attempting to help you, don't feel attacked. Don't get my God, bro, you okay? You think your kids want to know that you sleep in the bed late? It's 10 a.m. You still at home. You're not dressed. You're at zero by zero. You didn't make any money this morning. They don't want that. They want the best for you. It's all love. Now, if you look at it the right way, you receive it the right way. Now, watch this. Actually, watch this. Some of y'all might think that when your coach calls you 
and hold you accountable. And hey, where you at for the meeting? Where you at in the office? Why not dress part, the, the part? You might think that's here to hurt you, right, DeMarco? Right? That's a bad thing, right? Or it's wrong. Actually, when we stop calling you and stop texting you and stop coaching you, then you should be worried. Just like a wife or a girlfriend. Facts. <laughs> right? Same thing. Right, who hurt him? No, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. That guy's a player. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you guys, that's that's his life. So I I, I want to give you guys these mindset, these paradigm shifts. And Carl, the people who take our thinking the fastest are the ones who win. Right? Like even right now, right? Ari having a great month, right? If you ask her, I talk to her more. Hey, listen, I'm coaching her more. I'm on her more. Hey, you can do this. Keep killing it. Hey, cross 30,000. Hey, beat the Sean. Hey, beat, you know, they now kind of keep going. Like, you you got it like this. A reminder, 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 reminder. And it's never an attack. It's love. Right? So back to this, right? Taking long lunches. You should know what you want to eat today. Chipotle, whatever. Don't go on a two-hour lunch. I brought my lunch. I guess getting uh, getting one close and go home. Some of y'all submit an IBA. You hit your goal. I'm going home. You submit that policy. You cross 10,000. I'm going home. I'm good. Or even worse, you stay in the office and pretend that you're still working, playing basketball, golf the whole day because you close at 11. But your goal is hit. But what about the team goal? Or if you close at 11, why well, you can't close at 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the rest of the day? Why not? You understand it don't matter how much premium you submit today, Primera will pay you on it. So if you submit a policy and you make, and you can make five hundred, you submit ten today, make five thousand. Don't you want five thousand or five hundred? Right. Uh, delivering policies. Right. Working with draining people. Let's go over what dra a draining person is, guys. Number one, a, a person. I do everything in threes. Right. If you don't call me back or text me back for three days, I move on. Because, right, Tammy, no communication is communication, right? If someone doesn't communicate with you, they're they're, they're communicating with you that, that, that they don't want to be communicated with. Make sense? There's no such thing. I didn't see my message. That's bull. I didn't see the message. That's bullshit. I didn't see the call. That's bullshit. All day, you ain't that busy. Your numbers say it differently. I see you on Instagram uh, 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 posting the, the, the food that you eat. I see you. You follow me? So I do everything in threes. Can watch this, guys. If you're brand new or you've been around for a while, I'm telling you, the thing that can kill you the most is spending time with the wrong people. Spending time with draining people. There are some people in Tampa who are not going to come, who is not going to come to ECBS. And you live in Tampa. Meanwhile, I live four hours away. I'm going to drive. Meanwhile, Frank lives in Missouri. He's going to fly. No excuse. The people live in Tampa. Unless it's something extremely serious. Like, well, my old upline was very strict. She'll say, hey, the only way, the only reason to miss an event is if someone's in a hospital and it better be you. She had 500000 a year, by the way. Just saying. That's just saying. Before you say, oh, my God. That's so, uh, whoa. Right? Well, like, hey, someone's in the hospital. You, the, 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 the East, watch this. I'm going to say this and it's going to ruffle some feathers. Someone's in the hospital, right? ECBS is from nine to four. You're not going to be in a hospital from nine to four, anyways. You can't. You can't even stay there that long. I don't know if it changed, but my dad's in the hospital before he passed away. You couldn't stay there more than two hours. I don't know if it changed. But matter of fact, I don't want to be there more than two hours. I don't want to be in a sick environment for more than two hours. I don't want to be there. Again, a different thinking. We can go to ECBS and then after it's over at four, go to the hospital, be there, and that's it. You follow me? I, I promise you guys, once you say no to something, write this down, guys. This will change your life. You say no to something. Everything you say no to, you're saying yes to something else. So when you snooze your alarm and say, no, I don't want to wake up, and I don't want to do this, it's too much, you're saying yes to being broke. Right. I don't want to listen to my upline. He don't know. He don't know what he's talking about. I'm older than him. I've been here longer. I got a better way. You're saying yes to not be successful in primarily. Right. On the phone with someone for 10, 20 minutes. You ever get on the phone with someone 
for a long time and that person is draining you on the call, you're like, damn, I didn't make my point across. Right, Tammy? And that person said, man, I love talking to Tammy. She's such a great person. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> you talked the whole time. But we on the call with someone, guys, I'm, guys today, we're straightforward. Hey, Carl, listen, I'm following up with you, brother. We sat down on March 10th. I was following up with you to see if you want to do the business, bro. It, it takes five minutes to complete the application, 124. Bro, I still can't find my... I still can't find debit card. Yeah, Carl, you can't find debit card since March 10th. Okay, bro, see you later, bro. Can you post this flyer? Guys, <laughs> follow me. Hey, how's it? Y'all laughing, I'm, I'm so serious, right? Hey, hey, Frank, listen, brother, I'm following up with you because March 15th, we started um, a, a, a policy for you and your a beautiful wife, right? It's 80 bucks, bro. I want to follow up with you to see if you can uh, uh, if you can uh, finish it today. <laughs> Carl, all right, Carl, you can't do that. Hey, bro, 124, what's up? Chill. <laughs> They're going to hang up on you. They don't call at least, at least say happy Easter. I mean, how was Easter? Hey, 124. <laughs> Damn. You got it or no? Nah? All right, Ari. Is, is that a secret, Ari, for having a good month? <laughs> you got it or no? Nah? Do, 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 do. <laughs> you know, iPhones is, iPhone is so disrespectful. When someone hang up on you, do, do, do. Damn. What's what's more, what hurt more guys, the iPhone sound or the Zoom hanging up sound? Do, 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 or the, do, do. Which one hurt more? Put in the group chat, guys. Which one which one hurt more? Zoom? Nah, I think that Zoom for sure. They shot. Damn, y'all. <laughs> Zoom is painful. <laughs> that boy's funny. Anyways, yeah, it's Zoom. All right, I'm on Vars. And Vars say it is it's facts. Zoom definitely hurts. Zoom for sure. All right, all right, all right. So y'all boy, okay. I think the iPhone one is crazy. What about the FaceTime one? FaceTime one is hurt too. Nah, still Zoom? All right. But listen, pending, pending business. Today, guys, and I hope you sell the doors closed. Juan, go, go close your seller's door, right? Pending business today, right, guys? Not the, the smartest thing to do today, right, guys? Do that tomorrow, right? Making no phone calls. Guys, you want to be careful of living through someone else's someone else's success. What does that mean? You ever hang around someone who you're in their car, you're in their house, they paying for the meals, whatever, and you think this is life, and then a person drop you back off, and it's like, oh shit, I'm back to reality. You want to be careful, guys, of losing for too long, because when you lose for too long, you get used to it. So you in the office and everybody on a Zoom call, everybody dressing nice, everybody closing the bell, going off, right? Approved and submitted and da da. And you you making no phone calls and you are happy. Yes, be happy and jolly. But what about your business? What about you growing? What about you pressing submit? So, but sitting there making no phone calls is not going to help anything. Talking to sidelines all day, guys. Our team, we love each other. I cannot wait. Like I'm trying to sleep until. Friday, I cannot wait until I come hang out with y'all. I, I love coming to Tampa. I love our team. However, guys, talking to the team all day, no. Nah. Let's talk tonight at 10, 11 o'clock at Applebee's or something like that when everybody closed, right? Let's talk tonight, right? But right now, let's work. See, your real friend, guys, is going to want the best for you. Your real friend, like, bro, come on, Juan, bro. You at ten, you right there at 10,000, bro. Come on, get over it, bro. Bro, Panama still here. Guys, we still got our Panama incentive. Right, I believe on our Panama trip, I don't know. I believe Ari is on. Uh, I mean, Ari already, already won it. I'm not sure about everybody else. Right, right. But guys, you want to make sure, guys. Hey, win Panama. We don't want to go with only the RVPs and Ari. Right, everybody else. Right, guys. I love Ari, but still, it's, you know, it's a whole team thing. You guys follow me? Talking to silence all day. So, and I want to finish up with this, right, guys? We might finish up early today, so you guys can go finish your month, right, guys? Today, guys, what you want to focus on, guys, is your field training bonus. So what I'm going to do, right, is open up my POL and go my recruit tracker, right? Recruit tracker, right, guys? And see who needs that one recruit, who needs that one policy to get their bonus to the next level. Guys, people work better in spurts, right? Let's say you haven't heard from someone since Thursday because they're getting ready for the Easter egg hunt. They got kids, da, da, da. Guys, sometimes, guys, give them some grace, Give them some great guys because the kids is a lot that I understand, right, guys? However, it's Monday. 
Let's go, right? So what happened is, guys, there's, there's, I'm, I'm going to go and say, hey, listen, Carl, bro, listen, bro, you're, you're right now you're at four by 2,500, bro. We do a policy today for more than $43, bro. You get a promotion to district leader and you make an extra 200 bucks, right? And I say, hey, who else do you know that we can sit down with? And they'll sit down with somebody, right? Who can we fast start today? Now, there's some people that got recruited on Saturday and Sunday. Guys, challenge them to get to the district today. Guys, to recruit three people and do 3,000 in one day is not really hard. Who can we get over 10 recruits? Guys, there's people right now. Um, Right now, we have one of our teammates right there. Right, She's at nine recruits. I don't give a damn. She's not ending at nine. All right. Jenna's already over 10. Dara, I'm going to make sure she get over 10. Make sure people DDR. If you're at eight, seven, eight, you can cross over 10 today, right? Who can we get promoted? Guys, how bad would it be that you're right there at district, right there at division, right there at regional, right? I think uh, Jonathan said you get the regional, right? Right there at regional. And because you don't look at the numbers, you miss it by like a policy. Guys, I'm taking an exam. All of our exams in Primerica need you to get a 70%. I'd rather get a 50 over a 69. Facts. I'd rather miss it, get a 50, than get a 69%. So were you right there regional, right? And you got you had 14,995 and boop, you missed it because you didn't look at the scoreboard. You were RVP and your bonus is 20 by 20 because RVPs get bonuses at all right, that was crazy. Um but uh uh, uh, RVPs, your bonuses are right at 20 by 20, and you at 20 by 19.5, but you don't know because you didn't look at it. Right? <laughs> who needs who needs that one more recruit? Because go on your team and say, who's who's active? Now, remember, the active people are the people that are responding in the group chats. They're on Telegram. They answer the phone when you call. Some of y'all on this call, y'all snuck away to be on training, right? Those who you work with. Who needs one more life app? Some of y'all on this call probably train somebody who their spouse don't got a policy. They don't got a policy because when you first met them, all they had money for the IBA. Life happens. That's, they can do a small policy. Hey, Dylan, bro, do a policy. 60 bucks, bro, 50 bucks. Raise it next month. Uh, raise it up later, I'm sorry. Fixing insufficient IBAs. Guys, you know all of our bit, well, you can do this tomorrow. You can do this tomorrow, right? Do that tomorrow, right, guys? So you can make sure all your numbers count, right? You want to ask people, hey, are you married to your job? Today, you sit down with guys. You, you want to get used to asking people, hey, are you married to your job? Guys, write this down. There's two questions that you should, a few questions you should ask everybody you sit down with. Write this down. Everybody you sit down with, you should ask them these few questions. Are you making all the money you want to make? Are you making all the money you want to make? Are you making all the money you want to make? Do you love your job? Do you love your job? Do you love your job? And number three, what is your exit strategy? Right? What is your exit strategy? What is your way out? Because you ask someone, hey, do you love your job? They say no. Are you making all the money you want to make? They say no. You say, hey, so what's your way out? What's your exit strategy? And then you say this before you do the presentation, right, David? They're going to say, oh, this is an exit strategy. <laughs> I can get paid more here, <laughs> right? I can love this. What is not to love in Primarica, guys, about making money, helping people, everybody wins. We take free, free trips. It's an amazing environment, right? Genuine people, people who want to help you win, get to the next level, like, Right? Some of you guys on this call have amazing teams. God bless y'all having amazing teams who push y'all up. But some of you guys need to get that personal recruit. <clears throat> guys, also too, guys, don't, don't forget, they have a future RVP bonus this month. I believe it's $500,000. The company is giving out $500,000 to the top 500 future RVPs. Go look at that scoreboard one and make sure that you got all your points on it. Go make sure you do all the production for it. They got a future RVP on there. Their bonus is going to be $7,000. On top of what they made, Carl, the company is going to give them a bonus. See, the company does these bonuses once in a while to let you guys see how it feels to be an RVP to get a bonus. I believe it's Abby. Her bonus is going to be $8,000, I believe, like $7,900 or something. On top of the money she made this month, which is about $10,000, they're going to give another bonus, uncharged backable bonus, 
of $8,000. They're giving Willie seven grand. Like, why, why Willie? Like, that should be. But anyways, they're giving Willie, right, $7,000. All right? Um, who can we see today? Guys, ask people, hey, who can we see today? Who can we see right now with kids? Who can we see today with kids? Add that. Who can we see today with kids? Oh, my auntie. What time she get home? Six? Okay, can we see her at seven? So, Jalen, bro, today's the end of the month, brother. We got to make sure. Guys, today, everybody, right now, everybody at zero, zero. Right, guys? You cannot end today at zero. Today, everybody should, should submit an IBA, a policy today to grow your bonus if you're not licensed. And if you're licensed, get paid a thousand bucks. Right? Um, guys, when you're sitting down with someone on the KT, KT means kitchen table, because back in the day, we used to go to people's houses and sit at the kitchen table. Guys, when you sit down with someone who has children, married with kids, don't just go in there thinking, oh, life insurance, let's go, guys. You should always have a recruiting presentation. It's way more attractive to talk about making more money over spending money initially. Talk to them about, hey, becoming a, a, a power couple, coming into the business together, do it together. They're going to get a policy eventually, guys. Make sure you build rapport with both of them. Right? Always mention both of their names. Guys, talking to a husband and wife is so easy. I love talking to a husband and wife, Tammy, because, see, in the beginning, remember perspective, right? Before, before this is how I used to think before my mentor told me. Remember earlier I said a mentor at Chico, right? David, I said, damn, it's two people. It's two against me. Like, what if one of them, you know, say something and cause a, a, a deflection in the conversation? And what if they both, like, attack me? And, like, I'll have all these bad thinking, right? What if they don't got the money? My, so I brought up my mentor because I understand me at 20 years old, I couldn't think that way, right, David? My mentor said, Lee, no, talking to a couple is easier. I said, what do you mean? He said, a couple, they have two incomes. So it's very seldom you'll get the money objection, right? Layton, two heads are better than one. You're sitting out with a husband and wife, right? One is one is logical, one is emotional, right? They both come together. They have children. Like it's, it's easy talking to both of them. Or one of them will do it and the other one support them. Support him or her. You guys follow me? So you see how that mindset, so anybody that's called that had that same kind of mindset, stop thinking on your own. I went to my mentor, anything in Primerica. You know, the other day I got made fun of that I go to Edward for everything about the business. I'm like, the, the person who said it, I'm like, I don't want your business. <laughs> like, what? Look at our income, right, Carl? Look at our income, my income and yours, right? And look at his income and mine. So anything pertaining to Primerica, I'm listening to him. Hey, bro, listen, before I, before I make a decision and mess it up, come 30. I'm not messing shit up. We guys found, hey, I, before I make it up, what would you do? How would you respond to this? What would you say? Which one would you buy? Right? If you have a, um, you sit down with someone, right, and you say, hey, if you got a better opportunity, would you take it? You ever had someone say, oh, I'm doing good? Put them on a chat. Oh, I'm doing good. Oh, we're good. <clears throat> you want to ask them, hey, if a better opportunity come up, would you take it? Keeping them on the hook, guys. Someone sit down with you in the beginning of the presentation. They tell you they want more for their kids. They want to make more money. They don't like their job. They want better income. They want these things, right, guys? They want these things, guys. Keep them on the hook. Say, hey, listen, you, you told me earlier right now, right, Marco? You're not making the kind of money you want. You want a new truck. You want to put your kids in private school. Your job right now don't allow you to do that, brother. If I can show you how to get those things, would you do it? And Jalen, don't let someone lie to you in their face. Hold on. If you, if you had the money, your kids would be in private school. You'll have a new truck. You will have, you'll be traveling, your wife wouldn't work, da, 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 all that kind of stuff. You guys got it? Are we good? Perfect, guys. So, guys, I want to end right there, guys, because, you know, um, we'll, we don't always have to go to the end every single time, plus it's month end, right, guys? So, I want you guys to get better with that. Anybody got better with that today, guys? Anybody got better or got reminded today? Anybody got better or got reminded? Blue yeah. snap, fat. Perfect, perfect. So I guess you guys can't unmute, right? Perfect. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> right? 
Um, so guys, I'm going to put this on the Telegram so you guys can go ahead and save it. Guys, listen, uh, Legacy Hierarchy, we have our managers meeting today at 12, right? Uh, today at, at 12 p.m. we got the management meeting, guys. It's going to be real quick. All right, guys, but today, guys, press submit. Press submit. I want us in our, our Legacy group chat, right, to put hashtag submit when you close today. Let's see how many times we can submit today. Do not end at zero. If you want to win, I'll say this. Don't go home until you press submit today. Press submit. Make your thousand bucks today. If you're licensed, make a thousand bucks. If you're not licensed, raise your bonus by four hundred dollars. Why not? All right, guys. So yeah, I'm proud to be a teammate, guys. Proud to be your coach. I'll see you guys this weekend at ECBS. If you think about not going, you should go. Right. If you're gonna go, bring somebody with you. Do not go alone. All right, guys. Make it happen, guys. I'll see you guys this weekend. See you later. Bye. Let's go. Everybody. Oh man, many can come back. By the time you come back, I'll be lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.